my back is the Qatar Stock Exchange. For those who've been following my post way back, I went there like five years ago uh, to see how their exchange looked like. Good morning guys, so I just woke up, it's time for breakfast. I'll try to give you an update while I'm eating on what's happening in the markets. As Hey guys, so as of 2.30 p.m. Manila time, the market is up 7.250 which is consistent with the breakout uh, from last week from 7.180 and it's now also above 7.2 level. So what, what does this mean? You can expect it to make a push to around 7.4, 7.5 levels uh, as long as uh, we stay above those support levels as well. Um, there's a resistance though at 7.380 which we have to see that the market has to also break out from to, for this to be as sustainable as ever. But as of this point in time, similar to the update that I posted last night, we still really haven't seen any significant resistances been broken. We still haven't have we don't have yet any uh, reversals yet, even from particular price and momentum indicators as well. So this may be a good sign for the market, but we still need a larger shroud of conviction for it to warrant at least a reversal from a technical analysis side but for those who bought because it's oversold kudos to you for those who bought because it bounced and also broke out from 7180 you're doing a good job so far so let's see how it goes uh, all throughout the day hey guys so it's like 42 degrees outside let's see how long a last no i plan to do at least two stocks by request outside but let's see <laughs> 42 degrees is very very hard in all uh, measures, all the standards, but uh, let's see how long and how far I can walk uh, as I go and walk outside. To walk outside? Yeah, it's okay. Hey guys, it's a it's a bit hot. I've been I've been walking just for a few minutes, but I already feel the heat and the humidity as well. But as promised, bars of vlog, we'll make it. We'll make a lot of stocks by request for you guys. The first stock that I'd like to talk about is Mega World. Mega World, from a position trading standpoint, is still pretty much uh, bearish for for the mid-term and also the long-term oscillators and indicators are denoting that the stock is relatively bearish still. However, please remember this, there's still a way where you can trade and make money by buying the support and the resistance. With that, that's where uh, that's where we saw Mega World move, move up from 4.25. It started to bounce from that. And today, as of 3.20, no, it closed at around 4, uh, 440, which is close to our uh, resistance already. So why am I saying this? If you are a quick trader, Peg your resistance at around 4.45 pesos per share. Now, here's the thing. Failure to break out from that by tomorrow or the next few days will warrant already a sell signal for you guys. So, why am I saying this? You are a quick trader and you are watching Mega World. Short-term target price, 4.45 fails to break out from that. You may take profits already. The next stock I'd like to talk about is Globe Telecom. Globe Telecom also had a good bounce from a support level. So here's the thing for Globe. Uh, as it's above 1648, it triggered, it's still undergoing its bounce. No? The next target price for it, it will try to challenge a very, very strong moving average, which is around 1748. Here's the thing though, from a trend perspective, from a trend analysis perspective, Globe is still relatively bearish. The trend is still headed down. But from, from for people doing support and resistance trades, the stock is pretty much uh, bouncing still. That's what's nice about uh, doing buys, buys and sells from uh, from support and resistance levels. There will always come a point in time where it hits the support level, bounces up, and it still has a it still has a chance to go up and bounce. And that's what we're seeing with Globe. So for those who bought and positioned in Globe as it started to bounce, you're, please put please peg your target price at 1748. The closer it is to 1748, you might expect some selling at those levels. So why am I saying this? Close as close as it can to once as close as it is to 1748, you may peg that as a target price to sell. However, if it breaks past that, the stock will turn bullish. Please remember this. There's a strong resistance at 1748. If it breaks out from 1748, the stock will turn bullish. If it fails to break out from that, you're a quick trader, sell. If you are a position trader, breaks out from 1748, position as the stock turns from bearish to bullish already. 
So that's it for now. By the way, at my back is the Qatar Stock Exchange. For those who've been following my posts way back, I went there like five years ago uh, to see how their exchange looked like. Ah, uh, there's their stock exchange here looks like as well. So that's it for now. It's too hot. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna try to do uh, other other things as well, but expect more uh, stock picks later and expect more analysis on the market as well. I'm gonna prepare also for my talk here tonight in Qatar. I had to go in the mall because it was too hot. I couldn't go to the same route where I passed uh, from my hotel going out. So good thing there's an interconnection from this uh, back to my hotel. So thank you for air conditioning. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is part two of our stocks by request. Uh, something interesting happened at the close of the market. Now the market uh, surged higher uh, from where we were yesterday, which continues our, I guess, uh, upward movement, which uh, was was a result of the breakout from seven uh, one eighty. So now with that, it now reaffirms you know, the possible breakout that we will have for the possible upward movement to around seven three eighty, which is where the next. Uh, resistance for the market is so now one thing that you need to watch out for in the markets is just wait for and watch out for uh, selling that may happen at 7380 over the short term so please remember this the main trend is still pretty, pretty much down but because of the oversold levels we are seeing a possibility that the market could retrace and possible or or revamp or move upward to around 7380 for the short term now to the individual stocks these two stocks that i want to talk about uh, number one they have been uh, somewhat battered down over the past uh, few weeks and months so the overall trend for this stock is still pretty much uh, bearish you know? so if you are a position trader uh, the entire sentiment for these two stocks are still uh, bearish they're still in uh, medium to long term downtrends meaning there's still no reversal yet for the stock moving up. So the first stock that I'd like to talk about is uh, Universal Rubina Corporation. One of the reasons why I want to talk about this stock is because uh, from a short-term perspective, especially today, no, uh, it had a significant move up in terms of uh, the price movement but not not just that you have a value turnover it's very very strong at around 410 million which uh, in terms of technical analysis you want a very 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 strong value turnover for uh, for whatever stock that you want to analyze so whatever movement you're seeing now also was brought about by a bounce from support however here's one thing that's interesting the stock started to bounce from a 20-day uh, moving average or break out from a 20-day moving average which from a tech perspective this is something very very interesting because uh, the bounce from that next moving average would let it challenge the next one which is around uh, the 50 day moving average but should uh, this breakout progress further no I, I believe the next resistance will be pegged at around 130 pesos per share uh, 130 could be the next area where there you could see a lot of selling from uh, from traders as well as investors so but beyond that uh, the movement will probably have a if it breaks out from that moving average, the next target price could probably be uh, the 200 day moving average, which is around 140 uh, pesos per share. So that's something worth looking at and worth uh, analyzing for for the short term. So let's see how it goes and let's see how it will progress uh, even further. But the overall trend is still pretty much bearish. You have the resistance at around 100, 130 for the short term, then you have another one at 140. Uh, which is a much longer and stronger one as well. So the next stock is Metro Bank. Metro Bank is up because it bounced from the support at 71. So again, similar to URC, this stock is still bearish for uh, the short term. No, the stock is still in a downtrend. However, because there's a change in direction, similar to URC, uh, similar to URC also, there's a, there's a price movement as denoted by the price and momentum oscillators and also because it's oversold, it bounced from the 71 level. So now, what what, what are we expecting here? What's the what's the battle plan for, for this? It's now approaching the... Uh, hello guys. Hello. <laughs> so it's now approaching the 20-day uh, moving average. As it's approaching the 20-day moving average, you can expect a level of selling for the stock. However, 
uh, if it breaks past the 20 day moving average I believe it can and it will challenge the, the 50 day moving average which is around 79.3 so a breakout from the 20 day moving average will now make it move and go to around 79.3 which is the next resistance however please take note of this there's the for it to actually reverse it must break out of 89 uh, pesos per share so it's still pretty far from uh, where we wanted to be it's still pretty far from uh, the target price for it to actually have a shot at reversing as well so that's how you analyze metro bank and that's how you analyze urc uh, from a quick trading perspective from a position trading standpoint i'll update you when it starts breaking out from those longer term uh, moving averages and resistance because you have to remember this if it just breaks out from shorter moving averages it's not enough to convincingly break, break the trend it must break uh, stronger resistances for it to be able and have a shot to break the trend which is uh, the trend is a very very strong component of how markets move which which it must break out from it for the short mid and long term for you as a position trader to come in but again quick traders uh, it's okay to come in because we're buying oversold and changing directions in the stock as well so that's it for stocks for the day uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to add the video I'm, I'm headed I'm headed to stock smarts Qatar already in a bit uh, it will be in holiday in so if you are seeing this uh, you, you are seeing this you can still join us because uh, this, the seminar later I might not be able to include it in this video but it will be in the next video so you see snippets also of how things go uh, here in, in the sessions here in Qatar and so the, I don't know I just really want to share part and, parts and pieces of how I do uh, my day-to-day -day, uh, life as well but above and beyond that that I hope this with this videos and this series would be uh, educational for all of you because really uh, I just really want to see more and more Filipinos uh, around the world just uh, financially free that you don't have to be defined by where you are in life but you get to springboard yourself and invest for the future as well so that's it for now see you all tonight for Stocks Marks Qatar finished the first session here in Qatar it's almost 1 a.m. here 6 a.m. Manila time but I still filled with energy because it's such an exciting feeling to be able to talk about stocks and to be able to just educate more and more Filipinos about trading the markets with ease and confidence so guys see you all for day two of our technical analysis sessions and fundamental analysis sessions here in Qatar and I hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart Marvin Gerber from Qatar see you all again soon Sol, oh. stocks or love life? Oh. <laughs> stocks. Stocks, why? Because I forgot love life. <laughs> this is a learning moment. Deliver the ano, Toastmasters Qatar edition. Para deliver something unusual. Pano 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 pano. Para deliver something. Uh, so exaggerate. Tapos pangalawa. Ganda talaga nito ng skyline nato. Ay, nakabijuta talaga. Alam mo?